right, she did really good. There's the parachute. Come here, baby. So we're here in Eagle Mountain. It's a pretty ominous name for a place to train falcons because eagles are just, they're our arch nemesis. -es. But we're going to try to get her to go up. She's got a 75 foot limit and she's not going above that right now. But we're gonna try to drone her to train her to go higher than 75 feet. That way she can get a height advantage and use that prowess of the stoop. So stay tuned and we'll show you what that is. Don't forget to smash that like button. Stay tuned for more Jer Falcon adventures. We're out here with Blaine Stewart and his Prairie Falcon, who is the mother to my boy Xander. It's okay. Come on. Good boy, bud. And we're going to fly her to a drone up to 450 feet and see how well she does. She's going to show us how to fly a drone in the modern age of falconry. It's one of the most efficient means of exercising. A falcon and there she goes without hill training so I've been doing the hill training thing and so far it's worked out pretty well but I just can't get my bird to go over 75 feet in the flats so we're doing we're gonna try this open country remote control airplane stuff She's climbing now. Got a little bit of a pop there. Maybe there's a little bit of a thermal. Prairies are so fun to watch. Boy, she's climbing right up. Yeah, she is. Angry. That's good. Oh, she's just going straight up, huh? I hope you guys can see her. I don't know if you can, but... A little bit of thermal. Now she's just like, oh, yep. Did she get it? She's almost to the draw. No, now she's, already she's at now. 300 and something feet, 370. Oh man, I lost. She's it. climbing now. No, nope. she set her wings. Yep, there's definitely thermal. Is she still going up though? Yeah. yeah she's, no, she's up. Just depends on whether she wants to come over and hit the drone. She's at 400 feet. She's at the drone. Well, she set her wings and going up in a thermal, so. Hopefully she'll just go in and slam that drone. Yeah, I think it's gonna make it auto home and she should come. I hope she comes back toward it. I don't want to go chase her. Yeah. She's up to 500 feet. No, she's, 500 yeah, she's 500, yep, 500 feet now. That's the beauty of thermals, man. It just takes them right up. But they can go up way too far too. Six hundred feet. Drones coming back. She's she's interested, bro. For some reason I just can't pick her out. Oh, yep, there she is. She's right up over. There she goes. She's going for the pigeon, straight vertical. There she goes. She's going for the pigeon, straight vertical. Oh! Pigeon, straight vertical. 
Oh! Now she's gonna chase it straight out and she'll come back eventually. Okay. It's 1,300 feet away. Getting away from us. She's right out, right out there. It's a drone out there. Here she's coming back. She really likes chasing pigeons, doesn't she? She's like, no, not that time. She's she's actually implying her cat because they can't get away. <laughs> Prairies, they're like sakers and jurors, man. I can't get that juror to lose weight either. Get her back real quick. That'll bring her in. Well, there goes a pigeon. Uh, she's she's going straight for it. This is a three-quarter peregrine quarter juror. Needs a cope job bad. He's a good-looking bird. Yeah. Don't make excuses. We just we just have fun. Take care of him the best we can. Yeah, that's it. He's bumping out. Yeah, we're really no kind of. I mean, that's it's that hybrid vigor. Yep, that hybrid vigor for sure. They're really, really useful for abatement, man. Oh man, yeah, they. They, they just have. That's why they're yeah. in the sky trails almost every time. Right. They're engineered. You put Jur and Peregrine together, you yep. get the fastest and the strongest. And hybrid vigor. He's climbing nice. Pumping way out though. Yeah, that's what they do. So Patrick says he will turn and go straight to the drone and just climb straight up on his tail. It may, it may not today, but he's done it before. Cameron he doesn't sucks have it. The yeah, so he doesn't have the experience to know he can't do it. And he's gonna zigzag a little bit. It's pretty cool though. He just pumps straight up into it. Let's see if I can get a shot with the drone. Yep, there we go, right to it, bum. Yep, he caught it right there. So, he pretty much went right to it, but... Now he's got a parachute. Falcon parachutes, man. Yep. Oh. All of that in three and, a, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes, nice. key is how, clo how close to my, to the, I can get to it without having it get in the way of the drone. To get to it without having it get in the way of the drone. Nice flight. Falcon's back on the fist. It's a great day. Yeah, get it up, get it out about, you know, 100, 150 feet. Yep. And then let's just have her fly out and take it from it. Okay, take the hood off. Yep. There you are, baby. What you think? Okay, we're gonna. So she sees it moving. Yep. Just sitting there is not as if 
the difference between the lure. This is the lure out there. Exactly. I think she'll go for it. Go get it, baby. Go get it. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Right there. Boom. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Great. Woo. Good job, baby. All right. She did really good. There's the parachute. Come here, baby. Good girl. No, you don't need a mantle. It's okay. Good girl. Yeah, you did really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. That was fun. Well, that was Joe Fiel's first drone, big, you know, air drone training. The first two times we introduced her to it, she was like, yeah, I don't think, I don't want this. I don't want anything to do with this thing. But, you know, we're progressing. And this is falconry in the modern age. Yep. So I am testing out the Mavic DJI Mini ultralight drone as my way to drone train my birds. I ran a little cable through the inside of the drone, so just some fencing wire. And so far it hasn't interrupted too much of the sensors. The sensors are at the back for the auto land. So I'm hoping it won't interfere with it. And then I've got just a, you know, bread tie to secure it that will hopefully release if something else doesn't, you know, if the parachute doesn't take, doesn't work. So then I've got a pigeon wing with some meat ties, hopefully be sufficient for getting the bird to go up into the sky eight feet of line of this high tensile paracord, the parachute, and to a quick release. There's a quick release. I had to do some, uh, decrease the sensitivity so that it doesn't uh, just pull my drone straight out of the sky. And then that goes to the parachute and that's a free floating system. So, I mean, I guess I'm a para parachuter guy, so I might as well try training my drone, my birds with parachutes swivel system up to the drone and hopefully it'll work out great this is what most guys use is the DJI Phantom Phantom series Phantom 4 and it connects really nicely but Good boy, bud. He took the bait after five minutes of coaxing him. Now he's enjoying his nice reward. That's the trouble with first time droning, second time droning. I should have just been feeding him with it. He would have already known to just take the food that it has food attached, but you know, at least now he's getting there. Hopefully we can get him from stop uh, clipping grass, as they say clipping daisies so cheers <laughs>